One Davidson County family wants someone held responsible for the burning of more than 15 acres of their land. And Carrie, it has been two weeks now. This family is still dealing with hot spots on their land. It's really hard to imagine. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell spoke to the Joneses today. They say they're just fed up. It's been about two weeks since that fire started on the neighboring property and the Joneses are still having issues. You can see smoke from hot spots still popping up and they're concerned for their fellow neighbors and they hope more can be done. A quick stroll through the Joneses 65 acre property on the Davidson County Cheatham County line reveals significant fire damage. It just keeps on keeping on. The Nashville Fire Department and other agencies have been called out to the woods five times to put out the brush fires. The wind and the dead leaves is what's causing it to catch back on fire and they come back out and they put out a line. Lillian has been told the hot spots are in the bottom of the trees, so she spent the last two weeks sitting around waiting for another brush fire to spark up. The Joneses believe crews have done everything they can do, but hopes the Tennessee Division of Forestry will come out to help more. Definitely seeing the smoke coming. Lillian believes the initial fire started from a campfire on her neighbor's property. My husband went down to the property where it started and confronted the people where it allegedly started. News Channel 5 reached out to NFD. They wouldn't tell us much other than it's an active investigation. This is video of crews fighting the flames Thursday. It took them about six hours to put it out. Well, I'm just worried about older people that live out here and it's starting up at night and then not knowing about it. Lillian says the fire marshal was back on the property on Friday and will likely issue fines once the investigation is complete. Near Pegram, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. Nashville Fire Department says multiple agencies are involved in this investigation. The Joneses hope with the rain on the way, it will put out the remaining hot spots and they won't pop up again.